Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, how am I buying and forecasting of tennis equipment has changed during the last, I want to say up to almost two years now, year and a half for sure. Stay tuned. Okay, so this question came from my buddy, Elia. I call him Tebow because he kind of looks just like Tebow with that square head and everything. Shout out to Tebow. What's up, buddy? Thanks for this question. So he's, he said, I know you kind of did a video like this already about buying, but I think people would want to know forecasting, like how you typically bought before and how it's all changed during pandemic. So I was like, that's not a bad subject. Uh, let me see if I can do that one for you there, Tebow. So I'm going to actually be talking about that now. So here's the thing. In 2019 and before, prior to pandemic, the usual thing was the guys would show me, let, let's just concentrate on rackets and shoes, okay? Because they're kind of bought on the same levels and timeline. Rackets and shoes are always bought anywhere from three months to six months, even up to eight months in advance. So I'm pre-booking everything. It's kind of like a wedding. You're, you know, here's 250 that I need because my party's 250. So you have to plan for that. And back then I could ask for as many as I want because what they're doing is they're producing as many as people order. So hypothetically, let's say I order a hundred blades and I put that order in. They're going to produce me a hundred blades for sure because I've already placed the order. So it's myself multiplied by all the other retailers in the world that has placed that order and it's in their system. It's in Wilson's system and they produce that. Now, in addition to that though, they will know that, well, they will forecast that more than, I will need more than a hundred for, let's say the next three to six months because the initial booking is their biggest splash into the retail stores and the online guys. So they'll, let's say half a million got pre-booked. So they'll make half a million for sure. They'll probably make up to, I mean, if it's going to be a hot seller like that, but knowing how conservative they are, they'll probably make maybe a million. So they might have half a million in the pipeline in addition to the half million that's going to land in the warehouse. But they'll probably be staggered because each one of those containers only holds so much. So it'll probably have a container every month, let's say, which will probably carry 100,000 rackets. And that will usually fill the pipeline. So I get my initial 100 rackets. I sell through, usually I sell through 25 to 50% of them pretty quickly, especially on a racket like that during a launch, just because everybody's hyped to get it. Uh, people are excited that there's a new racket out of their version. People will pretty much buy it kind of almost sight unseen. It's like, oh, new blades out. Let me get three of those. Typically, that's how that works. And then, so as I sell through them, I'm going to be running out of grip sizes. So what I do is I either go to the B2B portal that I have control of and I order them and they're usually in stock or I call my rep um, or I email my rep and I was like this, you know, I need, I'm out of quarters. Can you send me two or three or four? Uh, and then they would literally arrive. So Wilson ships out of Chicago. So I have to plan for that. Uh, it'll get here in a week. So knowing that that's going to happen, I tell the you know people who are waiting for them that it's probably going to be a week or week and a half 
because the warehouse has to pack it and ship it. And it, they're going to ship it ground most of the time. So it's going to take five business days to get to me. So just so that I can make people happy, I tell them a week and a half. And hopefully it gets here before that. And then I'll have my extra few that I have for the wall. But so that, so things have changed since pandemic hit though. Okay. So when March 2020 pandemic came around, tennis pretty much shut down. I mean, we were all in that save mode where all we really wanted to do was spend money on toilet paper and paper towels and food. So we basically said, we're screwed, cancel everything, don't order anything. We're probably going to be not open for a while. And we weren't. So uh, we pretty much reopened back in mid-May of 2020. And during that time, we were, I mean, we weren't sure what was going to happen. But as soon as we opened up, you know, tennis, golf, anything outdoors, you could play. So everybody stormed, literally stormed back into the game and needed rackets, shoes, string jobs, grips, balls, everything. So we had to scramble, as I'm sure all of tennis had to scramble, to get everything back into the pipeline. So production, into packaging, into shipping from overseas, into the containers, onto the boats, onto the docks, onto the trucks, to get to the warehouses, from the warehouses, taking the orders, packing the rackets, shipping them through UPS or FedEx, and then getting here. So if you think about all those steps, that's at least if at the fastest two to three months. I mean, that's basically rapid fire to, to get, let's say, a single racket produced, right? That... So if you're shut down from, let's say, March to May, April, May, for us, it was two months. For those guys, maybe a little longer that nobody was working. So let's say three month lag. Got to get everything ramped up again. Got to get enough people to get back to work. Ugh, not good. Three months. I mean, we felt it a lot during Christmas of last year. But now we're in September of 2021, and we thought everything would be back to normal. But the supply chain is pretty screwed right now. I'm hearing that, you know, raw material is not not that readily available. I mean, I, I heard that uh, it, you can't get certain things, you know, like like chips for cars, right? There are certain things of rackets people can't get. So the whole thing is kind of screwed. Therefore, my buying is now totally changed. Like no longer can I pick up the phone and call Wilson and say, hey, I need a blade and a half. They're like, eh, nope. So for the whole year, the whole year, and it's not just Wilson. It's pretty much almost everybody across the board. I can't make a phone call and say, hey, we have it in stock. We'll ship it right now. They're like, yeah, we're two to three months out right now for a racket. So what are people doing? Well, I'm guessing everybody's doing the same thing I am, right? You're ordering what you sell the most of in bulk. Because if you're not going to get it in two to three months, you're probably going to need a lot more when you get them. So let's say a blade right instead of ordering two or three quarters to you know two or three three eighths knowing that they have it in the warehouse i'm actually having to forecast further out now knowing that i'm not going to get it in two to three months so i'm getting 10 or 12 quarters 10 or 12 three eighths maybe six or seven halves um it, it's you i have to like see forward now as to 
what I anticipate will sell, how long it'll take me to run out. Uh, and that's just not rackets. I mean, imagine doing this for rackets, strings, shoes. Uh, shoes, I've been screwed because ASICs has not been in stock and they have, even before pandemic, it was difficult for me to just order a single pair of shoes that somebody needs. So now it's five times harder. It basically, I'm waiting for what I pre-booked. They're not even giving me what I pre-booked more than half the time. So let's say I ordered a hundred pairs of shoes, usually like 55 arrive. So that's why you see a big shortage in shoes right now because ASICs can't make them fast enough. There's something going on in their supply chain in Vietnam is what I'm hearing. So I think there's a spike in COVID over there that shut down their uh, plant. But I mean, I've had to basically rethink my buying process and no longer is it, you know, as easy as it was before. So it's kind of like if you guys are trying to buy a car right now, it's pretty difficult. They don't have anything on the lot. And if they do, it's taken pretty quickly. Everybody is trying to get you to pre-book a car at full price. So it's, it's not fun. I mean, you, you book a car and it'll probably arrive in a month or two and you've pretty much paid for it already or done already your finances. And then you get the car knowing that you didn't get a deal on the car. So that's kind of the world that we're living in right now. Hopefully everything gets better soon. But as of now, uh, my buying has changed. I'm sure your buying has changed in a lot of ways too. So what I'm telling you guys is if you see something you want and you know you're going to buy, I would probably buy it sooner than later because it may not be there because of how yeah, the pr you know, production and the supply chain is right now. Okay, guys, good luck. Um, it's, good. it's a tough road out there on the road to tennis. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.